The Pamir Mountains are a mountain range in Central Asia, at the junction of the Himalayas with the Tian Shan, Karakoram, Kunlun, Hindu Kush, Suleiman and Hindu Raj ranges. They are among the world's highest mountains. The Pamir Mountains lie mostly in the gorno badakhshan province of Tajikistan. To the north, they join the Tian Shan Mountains along the Alay Valley of Kyrgyzstan. To the south, they border the Hindu Kush Mountains along Afghanistan's Wakhan Corridor. To the east, they extend to the range that includes China's Kongor Ta, in the eastern Pamirs, separated by the Yarkand Valley from the Kunlun Mountains. <laughs> Name and etymology Since Victorian times, they have been known as the roof of the world, presumably a translation from Persian. Names In other languages they are called, Kyrgyz Pamir Tuloru, Pamir Tuloru, Pamir Twao or Persian, Earth Kuo He Pamir translate. Rest Kuo Yi Pamir, Tajik, Rista Kuoi Pamir translate. Rishta Kohoi Pamir, Pashto, D Pamir Grun translate. Da Pamir Gruna or D Pamir D Ground L, Uyghur, Pamir Agaliki Pamir Esgizliki Pamir Esgizliki, Sanskrit, Sumeru, Urdu, Pamir Kuistan Pamir Kuistan, Simplified Chinese, Kong Ling Traditional Chinese, Kong Ling Pinyin, Kongaling, Wade Giles, Tease, Ung Ling or Onion Range after the wild onions growing in the region, Dungan, Pamir or Kunlin, written in Shao. Urging, Pamir or Wali. The name, Pamir is used more commonly in modern Chinese and loaned as simplified Chinese, pa mi er traditional Chinese, pa mi er pinyin, pamir. A pamir According to Middleton and Thomas, pamir is a geological term. A pamir is a flat plateau or U-shaped valley surrounded by mountains. It forms when a glacier or ice field melts leaving a rocky plain. A Pamir lasts until erosion forms soil and cuts down normal valleys. This type of terrain is found in the east and north of the Wakhan, and the east and south of gorno badakhshan as opposed to the valleys and gorges of the west. Pamirs are used for summer pasture, the Great Pamir is around Lake Zorkal. The Little Pamir is east of this in the far east of Wakhan. The Tagdambash Pamir is between Tashkurgan and the Wakhan west of the Karakoram Highway. The Alichor Pamir is around Yashil Kul on the Gunt River. The Saras Pamir is around the town of Murgab. The Kargish Pamir is south of Lake Karakal. There are several others. The Pamir River is in the southwest of the Pamirs. Geography <laughs> 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 Topic Mountains. Topic The three highest mountains in the Pamir's core are Ismoil Simoni Peak, known from 1932 to 1962 as Stalin Peak, and from 1962 to 1998 as Communism Peak, 7,495 meters (24,590 feet). Ibn Sina Peak, still unofficially known as Lenin Peak. 7134 meters 23406 feet and Peak Korzhenevskaya Russian Peak Korzhenevskij Peak Korzhenevskoy 7105 meters 23310 feet in the eastern Pamirs China's Kongor Ta is the highest at 7649 meters 25095 feet Among the significant peaks of the Pamir Mountains are the following Remark, the summits of the Kongor and Mustagata group are in some sources counted as part of the Kunlun, which would make Pik Ismoil Simoni the highest summit of the Pamir. Glaciers There are many glaciers in the Pamir Mountains, including the 77 km 48 miles long Fedchenko Glacier, the longest in the former USSR and the longest glacier outside the polar regions. Approximately 12,500 square kilometers (ca. 10%) of the Pamirs are glaciated. Glaciers in the southern Pamirs are retreating rapidly. 10% of annual runoff is supposed to origin from retreating glaciers in the southern Pamirs. In the northwestern Pamirs, glaciers have almost stable mass balances. 
Topic: Climate. Topic. Covered in snow throughout the year, the Pamirs have long and bitterly cold winters, and short, cool summers. Annual precipitation is about 130 mm which supports grasslands but few trees. <laughs> Paleoclimatology during the Ice Age the East Pamir, in the center of which the massifs of Masta Ata meters and Kongor Ta, Kingor Shan, 7,578, 7,628 or 7,830 meters are situated, shows from the W margin of the Tarim Basin an east-west extension of c. 200 km. Its north-south extension from King Ata Ta up to the northwest Kunlun foothills amounts to c.170 km. Whilst the up to 21 km long current valley glaciers are restricted to mountain massifs exceeding 5,600 m in height, during the last glacial period the glacier ice has covered the high plateau with its set up highland relief, continuing west of Masta Ata and Congor. From this glacier area, an outlet glacier has flowed down to the northeast through the GEZ valley up to C.1850 m ASL and thus as far as to the margin of the Tarim Basin. This outlet glacier received inflow from the Kayayayilik glacier from the Congor north flank. From the north adjacent Kara back tor c. 6800 or 6694 meters massif the Oitag Valley glacier in the same exposition flowed also down up to c. 1850 meters ASL. At glacial times the glacier snowline Ella as altitude limit between glacier nourishing area and ablation zone, was lowered about 820 to 1250 altitude meters against today. Under the condition of comparable proportions of precipitation there results from this a glacial depression of temperature of at least 5 to 7.5 degrees Celsius. Economy <inaudible> <inaudible> Coal is mined in the west, though sheep herding in upper meadowlands are the primary source of income for the region. Exploration This section is based on the book by R. Middleton and H. Thomas. The lapis lazuli found in Egyptian tombs is thought to come from the Pamir area in Badakhshan province of Afghanistan. About 138 BC Zhang Qian reached the Fergana Valley northwest of the Pamirs. Ptolemy vaguely describes a trade route through the area. From about 600 AD, Buddhist pilgrims traveled on both sides of the Pamirs to reach India from China. In 747 a Tang army was on the Wakhan River. There are various Arab and Chinese reports. Marco Polo may have traveled along the Panj River. In 1602 Bento de Goes travelled from Kabul to Yarkand and left a meagre report on the Pamirs. In 1838 Lieutenant John Wood reached the headwaters of the Pamir River. From about 1868 to 1880, a number of Indians in the British service secretly explored the Panj area. In 1873 the British and Russians agreed to an Afghan frontier along the Panj River. From 1871 to around 1893 several Russian military scientific expeditions mapped out most of the Pamirs Alexei Pavlovich Fedchenko, Nikolai Severtsev, Captain Putyata and others. Later came Nikolai Korzhenevsky. Several local groups asked for Russian protection from Afghan raiders. The Russians were followed by a number of non-Russians including Ney Elias, George Littledale, the Earl of Dunmore, Wilhelm Filchner and Lord Curzon who was probably the first to reach the Wakhan source of the Oxus River. In 1891 the Russians informed Francis Younghusband that he was on their territory and later escorted a Lieutenant Davidson out of the area. Pamir Incident. In 1892 a battalion of Russians under Mikhail Leonov entered the area and camped near the present Mergab. In 1893 they built a proper fort there Post. In 1895 their base was moved to Korog facing the Afghans. In 1928 the last blank areas around the Fedchenko Glacier were mapped out by a German-Soviet expedition under Willy Rickmer Rickmers. <laughs> Discoveries in the early 1980s, a deposit of gemstone-quality clinohumite was discovered in the Pamir Mountains. 
It was the only such deposit known until the discovery of gem quality material in the Tamer region of Siberia, in 2000. Transport the Pamir Highway, the world's second highest international road, runs from Dushanbe in Tajikistan to Ash in Kyrgyzstan through the Gorno Badakhshan Autonomous Province, and is the isolated region's main supply route. The Great Silk Road crossed a number of Pamir mountain ranges. Tourism <inaudible> <inaudible> In December 2009, The New York Times featured articles on the possibilities for tourism in the Pamir area of Tajikistan. 2013 proved to be the most successful year ever for tourism in the region and tourism development continues to be the fastest growing economic sector. The Meta Mergab Ecotourism Association website www.meta.tj provides an excellent repository of tourism related resources for the eastern Pamir region. Topic: Strategic position. Topic: Historically, the Pamir Mountains were considered a strategic trade route between Kashgar and Kokand on the Northern Silk Road, and have been subject to numerous territorial conquests. The Northern Silk Road, about 2,600 kilometers (1,616 miles) in length, connected the ancient Chinese capital of Xi'an over the Pamir Mountains towards the west to emerge in Kashgar before linking to ancient Parthia. In the 20th century, they have been the setting for Tajikistan civil war, border disputes between China and Soviet Union, establishment of U.S., Russian, and Indian military bases, and renewed interest in trade development and resource exploration. China has since resolved most of those disputes with Central Asian countries. Topic see also topic Pamir National Park Pamir Languages List of Mountain Ranges List of Highest Mountains Soviet Central Asia Central Asia Mount Imian Ak Baitol Pass China Tajikistan Border Cam Air Flight 904 crashed into Pamir Mountains, the cause remains unknown topic References topic topic Further reading topic Curzon, George Nathaniel, 1896. The Pamirs and the Source of the Oxus. Royal Geographical Society, London. Reprint, Elebrun Classics Series, Adamant Media Corporation, 2005. ISBN 1-4021-5983-8 PBK, ISBN 1-4021-3090-2 HBK. Gordon, T. E. 1876. The Roof of the World, Being the Narrative of a Journey over the High Plateau of Tibet to the Russian Frontier and the Oxus Sources on Pamir. Edinburgh. Edmonston and Douglas. Reprint by Cheng Wen Publishing Company. Taipei, 1971. Toynbee, Arnold J. 1961. Between Oxus and Jumna. London. Oxford University Press. Wood, John, 1872. A Journey to the Source of the River Oxus. With an essay on the geography of the Valley of the Oxus by Colonel Henry Yule. London, John Murray. Horseman, S. 2002. Peaks, Politics and Purges, The First Ascent of Pick Stalin in Douglas, E. ed., Alpine Journal 2002 Vol. 107, The Alpine Club and Ernest Press, London, pp 199–206. Leitner, G. W. 1890. Dardiston in 1866, 1886 and 1893, being an account of the history, religions, customs, legends, fables and songs of Gilgit, Chilas, Kandia Gabriel Yassin, Chitral, Hunza, Najar and other parts of the Hindukush. With a supplement to the second edition of the Hunza and Najar handbook. And an epitome of part three of the authors The Languages and Races of Dardistan. First reprint 1978. Manjusri Publishing House, New Delhi. Strong, Anna Louise, 1930. The Road to the Grey Pamir. Robert M. McBride & Co., New York. Slesser, Malcolm Red Peak, A Personal Account of the British Soviet Expedition Coward McCann 1964 Tillman, H. W. Two Mountains and a River part of The Severn Mountain Travel Books. Diadem, London. 1983 Wa, Daniel C. 1999. The Mysterious and Terrible Karatash Gorgas, Notes and Documents on the Explorations by Stein and Skrine, The Geographical Journal, Vol. 165, No. 3, November, 1999, pp. 306–320.
The Pamirs, 1 to 500.000A tourist map of Gorno Badshan Tajikistan and background information on the region. Verlag Gecko Maps, Switzerland 2004, ISBN 3 906593 35 5. Topic. External links Topic. Information and photos Afghans Little Pamir – Photos of the life of ethnic Kyrgyz